hey, is this coin worth $5,000 or is it worth $50,000? You're going to find out. Let's get started. Hi, I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt, and if you want to be blown away by the type of things being found out there with metal detectors across this world of ours, I show them to you here every Sunday. I call it the Weekly Dirt. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. You don't want to miss a thing. Hey, an amazing event happened this week in Boyerton, Pennsylvania. It was an event for charity called the Boyerton Come Out Swinging Event. Hang on to your shorts. If you like a lot of metal detecting finds, this is the episode for you. I'm going to show you a ton of them. Here we go. Hey, first up, I'm going to start with my buddy Jason over at the Quarter Hoarder and show you some clips from this incredible hunt that he was able to pull. Watch this from the Quarter Hoarder. Amazing. What's up, guys? Quarter Hoarder here. Dog Tag Doug, Jackpot Jeff, my new buddy, Robert Thiessen. And what we're doing here is Robert arranged this whole hunt called Come Out Swinging. Come Out Swinging. It is benefiting the Boyertown, Pennsylvania Historical Society. How many people did you get to sign up? Uh, we had 105 registered adults. And I thought it was a demo. Uh, now, is there, is there a marking on it, though, in the middle? No, it's just a no, shield. It's, it's general service. shield. Yeah. yeah that's general civil, right? Yep. Yeah. That's general awesome. service, but It's part nice. of it. All right, my buddy Trey from the Copperheads came all the way down that's representing right. North Jersey. That's right. And got himself a wicked little cowbell look at that it says what does it say oh, over yeah. thirty thousand daily fort worth texas hmm. and then on this side it says ring the bells for the stars all right my good buddy charles schaefer who i love i always love seeing charles and this is his girlfriend i'm sorry what's your name Billie Jean. she found a connecticut copper look at the detail I, oh my, I've never seen one this good in my yeah, life, no, Charles. No. Uh, Seth, all the way out from Ohio. How hey far of a drive is that, Seth? About eight hour drive. No kidding. Yeah, yesterday. Long way. Oh yeah, yes, okay, yeah. Seth got some cool stuff. I saw he's got an ox knob, which I've showed before. Then, which is lie. crazy, I was walking by. Let me see the jersey first, if you don't mind. You got this here? Yeah, right over there. Oh, I didn't hear you scream. No, Why I didn't I scream. not hear you scream? scream. Yeah, he didn't want 16 guess. people. Oh my goodness. That's true. We probably play cool, right? That's one thing we don't do, Doug, is play things cool. Yeah. In the same, not in the, not in the not same hole. hole. Oh, oh that's right. definitely yeah. silver. Oh, yeah. That's, silver. Oh, wow. that's yeah. definitely yeah. silver. And the Ohio guys are kicking some butt. <laughs> but you know what? If you drive eight hours, you deserve. Yeah, look at that. It's the back of a pocket watch. It's got a beautiful design on there. Oh, look, at there's a shield at the bottom. Oh, is there? I didn't see it. Yeah, there's a full shield at the bottom where it could have been monogrammed down there at one point. I've it's already match, opened it. Match holder. Oh, there's something inside? Oh! What the statue. heck is that? A religious Whoa. statue. You're kidding. That's cool. Wow, I've never seen anything like that Me before. Either. Hey, Jason, great job capturing that event. Just an amazing time. Looked like everyone had such a great time. And the finds were just incredible. Congratulations. Quarter Hoarder link is down below. If you're not a fan, head on over there. Say, hey, Jason, saw you on the Weekly Dirt. Great job. Great hunt. Quarter Hoarder, go check them out. Hey, real quick, speaking of Pennsylvania, my buddy Jerry over at the Central PA Metal Detectorist is having a 500 sub giveaway. It's a great giveaway if you want to get involved in it. Links right down below. Head on over there. Tell them you saw them right here in the Weekly Dirt and you're over there to get involved in his giveaway. It's a good one. Congratulations on 500 subs to Central PA Metal Detectorist. Awesome. Hey, let's keep it rolling and check with my buddy Seth. I went to England with him earlier this year. Can You Dig It is the name of his channel. And boy, did he dig it. Him and his buddies out there tearing it up. Check out his coverage of this hunt from Can You Dig It. Yeah, matron head. 1700s. Beautiful place. I slipped it up out. I think I nicked it a little bit, but I see a big silver. And I think I got a real. Maybe a one real, two real. Two, two real. Two. Oh man, it's getting the sun. I'm shaking so bad. <laughs> Can you dig it, guys? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. 17. <laughs> 1789, 2 real. Beautiful shape. Carlos IV. Oh my gosh. What'd you get? A 2 real. Oh man, did you get that right here? Right here. Man, you got oh 2 my real. Gosh. No way. Dude. <laughs> man, that is in beautiful oh, yeah. shape. Wow. Oh, Mexico man. City, man. Yeah. yeah, they all have Mexico City. Unbelievable. Wow. Popped it up, thought I had a dog tag. 
I believe it's something like a dog tag. I believe it says John Weiss. Better than John, John Weiss. W E I S S. Boyer Town is where we are. So pretty awesome little uh, relic there. Little tag off something. All right, so Seth got this incredible piece. It doesn't look incredible on its own. It's a little aluminum tag that says John Weiss, Boyer Town, and the homeowner. This was the original Weiss house. He's got a photo of the Weiss family in front of the house. And Seth, doing the good deed that he did, donating the piece to the homeowner to keep it all together. It should stay with it, honestly. I mean, it should stay with it. What a beautiful piece. It'll go together. Completes the story. That's right. The boys from Ohio coming down to PA and tearing it up. Congratulations, Seth. Amazing find. Are you kidding me? A real? Just incredible, man. Congratulations. Great find. Everyone, head on over there. Go give them a big thumbs up. Can you dig it? Hey, so many detectors came to this event. The Copperheads were out there. Let's go check out their coverage of this event and the unique things they were able to find on their hunt. Check it out this week from Copperheads Metal Detecting. Watch this. What do you got? Well, hey, buddy. That's oh, yeah. a copper. That's a, that's a seven. 27. 27 on the Equinox yeah. 800. Yeah. And we figured out it is a matron head. Large chance. Nice find, buddy. Thank you. It's a flowing hair. Or a, see. What is that? Not a flowing hair. That's a. Uh, oh, a drape bust? A drape bust, yeah. Half cent. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful, bro. There we go. 18, early 1800s. Yeah. Buddy. Buddy. There's an 18, oh, 18, what, there's a 5 at 1805. Yeah, it's early 1800s. 1805. Oh, we'll take that, that's a good one. Look at that, half cent on the board. Bukel. Some sort of buckle. It's got that's fancy cool. on it. Hold on. The old pants rubbing. Yeah, look at that. That's old too, look at that. Yeah, it. that's very old. Ooh. Pretty sweet. We're out here. Switch permissions for the day. And uh, Joe pulls out our second Indian for the day. I did. You get a date off of it? Yeah. At the very bottom, I think. Oh, she's, she's a beaut. 1866. So look for what do we have? Awesome stars. We got stars and quarters and silver. To see the quarter, I think. Yeah. And I bumped it. And this is what you sit on. It yeah. was on edge, yeah. 1853. See the Wow, look at that. Man, you guys are always on the goods. Great job. Congratulations on your finds at this incredible event. I know you guys had a great time. I couldn't capture all their video. I'm telling you, you need to head on over there and check it all out. Links down below to their channel. Go over there and watch their entire coverage of this hunt. It was pretty amazing. Congratulations to the Copperheads Metal Detecting. Great job, guys. Hey, and not only was the event a success, but a lot of the detectors stuck around to go out detecting with Charlie Harley and PA Pirate Paul, and even more goods were found. It was an incredible week of hunting out there in Pennsylvania. Let's go check in with Charlie Harley with Heritage Relic Hunters. That's right. Check it out. From Heritage Relic Hunters. Watch this. That is, that is the Connecticut. It. Yes, yeah, that's the same one I dug. Is it really? That's a there's, Connecticut there's a copper. 1787. Because she's got yeah. that. She's got yep, the definitely. stamp. Joe Setti. Hello there, Charlie the Harley. Copperheads. What now you... we jumping around a little bit, so I think we have something that the Amy girl would uh, probably like to, to see here. So right there she is. Oh yes. Yeah. It does look like the old crotobell. Yep. It is a crotobell. It's tiny. It's very. But tiny. that's what we got here. It's my. Uh, well, we started 15 minutes ago. We started here yeah. in this field, so good job. So uh, don't get jealous, Nancy. <laughs> well, I just pulled out this uh, token. I was able to uh, quickly identify if they rubbed it off, but it's a Ford token, and that's the uh, the front of it. And the obverse is uh, whoops, the obverse is right there. So it's a V8. It says uh, from 1903 to 1933. It's a token, and I'm very happy with it. On the bottom. Okay, way to go, Paul. We're gonna check the date out and get back to you. We're out front here, right along the road. So we're right out in front of the house, right along the road. Oh, look at the date. Beautiful, man. 
Nice. See the date? Okay, we're going to check the date out. I don't want to mess it up any more than... 1802. So it's a 1802. 1802. 1802. Well, that should clean up really nice. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Wow. Put my hand there when you're done. Wow, here. very cool. Awesome job, yeah. Paul. Congratulations. Thanks. Okay. Congratulations. Kevin just passed it on to me. Whoop. Let me get in the sun here. Whoop. 1802. We'll clean that up and get a better look at it. I came up around here. I Hey, Charlie, great job, man, hosting all those people. Amazing. Just an incredible find. You know, I was trying to make it to this hunt to join you all, and I wasn't able to make it. So the second best thing is for me to be able to go watch all your video clips. You guys did a great job. Everyone, head on over there. Go show Charlie some support and say, man, thanks for hosting all those people. Congratulations on your hunt. To Heritage Relic Hunter. Links down below. Hey, my buddies Kevin and Casey were out there from Potter County Diggers. They were out there digging too and capturing all the festivities and the amazing finds. Let's go see what they put on film. Check it out this week from Potter County Diggers. Watch this. Morning, everybody. I'm out with PA Pirate Paul, Charlie Heritage Relic Hunter Harley. Let's see what he's got. Seth, can you dig it? Yes. From Ohio. It's good. Eric, the Amish. Metal detectorist. Hey, I love it. <laughs> From She's thin. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> British. Yeah. Hopefully it's a King Williams. All right, everyone. En ends up being a Williams. There's the face of it. I believe it's looking right. And I'll put the one right over top of it. And there's, there's the re reverse. 1698 to 1701, they're saying. Pant wiper. <laughs> Where's my... Uh... It's not that old. It's not that old. <laughs> <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this guy right here. He's he's my man. That's why that's why I bring him with me, man. Yeah, I think it's still mm -hmm. really bus, straight bus, yeah. <laughs> that's why I, I call it. Yep. There you go, man. Yeah, you did oh, it. He called it over there without looking at yeah. it. Great bus. Because we got two of them in this area. Did you? Awesome. Oh, Very nice. That one. It's the power of the 800. Thank you. Oh, there she is. Awesome. Thanks, Bob. Yeah. It is. That's crazy. <laughs> totally different sight. That one is kind of cool. Yeah, one. it's got a cool. Oh, it's got something cool on it. Yeah, like an iron cross. It's an iron cross. That's awesome. <laughs> That's your second one this weekend. Yeah. yeah. No, totally it's... different sight. Half so hour away. That's so cool. What? What they you That's got it? another one that's yeah, it's... white? Heavy rings up. Oh, it is heavy. Here's to be a like an apothecary weight or a trade trade weight. The coin weight, yeah. Coin weight. Coin weight, they call it. Look at that. It's even got scallops around it and everything. Yeah. Read it or it off a little more. Little markings on the back side. Yeah, there is. There's like four. Yeah. That's Probably awesome. Means something too. Very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got ourselves another copper here. Oh, wow. So we're right out in front of the house. Oh, look at the date. Yeah. Beautiful, man. Can you see the date? Okay, I we're going to check can't. the date out. Because I don't want to mess it up any more than... Like 1802. So it's a drape. 1802. 1802 drape. Wow. That should clean up really nice. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Wow. Put my hand there when you're done. Wow, here. very cool. Awesome job, yeah. Paul. Congratulations. Thank you. Paul found the coin. At the time, he dug it. Wasn't sure what he found. He wasn't sure what he found. We just kept on digging, and it wasn't until after the wrap up that we realized what this coin is. It's a find of a lifetime. Here's the, here's what Paul had found. 1802. If you look right here, it's kind of it's over stamped with a two over the zero. There's two different varieties. You guys are gonna have to stick around to the end of the video to see which one he found because that day we did not clean the reverse of it. There we go. 1802 half cent unfortunately that wasn't the small letter coin that we were hoping for but it's still going to grade extremely well 
it's still a, probably a once in a lifetime coin. So Kevin, congratulations on you and Casey out there. For Potter County Diggers, links down below to their channel. You gotta go watch that whole video too, it was incredible. Congratulations, you guys. Great capture, great hunt, and great finds. Potter County Digger, an amazing find from PA Pirate Paul out there, finding that 1802 half cent with the two over the zero. Amazing find. Could have been an incredibly valuable coin up to $50,000 had it been one type of variety. Turned out it was the lesser variety. Still, you're gonna value that end coin anywhere from $3,500 to $5,000 depending on the collector. Just an incredibly valuable coin. And he found it with a metal detector just out there in the ground waiting for somebody to come along. Hey, it was just an amazing hunt out there in Pennsylvania. Congratulations to all the detectorists that went out there and were able to score some amazing goods and save some incredible history. Congratulations to you all. Hey, I just wanna say from my family to your family, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you enjoy the holiday season. Stay safe. And if you happen to get out digging, best of luck to you. Hope you rescue a ton of history and find some amazing adventure. I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt. Have yourself a great week. I'll see you here next Sunday for another episode. 